Hi guys, this is a, an impromptu video, but some uh, breaking news just came through not that long ago uh, that the One Direction singer Liam Payne uh, was found dead, uh, tragically died just um, age 31. You know, just so young. It's it, it's really, 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 uh, really horrific um, that he was that he had, he has died outside a hotel in the Argentine capital Buenos Aires. Uh, the local media reported um, saying the British musician was found dead after falling from the hotel's third floor. Citing uh, officials, leading local newspapers La Nacion and Clarin reported that the police were called to the hotel in the capital's leafy Palomero. Palermo, sorry, I mispronounced that. Neighbourhood responded to an emergency call that cited an aggressive man who could be under the effect of drugs and alcohol. And yes, yeah, so this is a thing. I mean, I've, um, you know, I, I'm not, like, I'm not, I wasn't, like, a big Direction fan. I wasn't a big follower of uh, Liam Payne. But I was aware, I did know a little bit about his story. Um, I watched the interview that he did on the Diary of a CEO podcast with Stephen Bartlett. So I was a bit well aware that this guy had his demons, um, was had suffered from alcoholism, um, so I, I knew that there was some problems there, but I think he had been, was working hard to overcome them. Um, so look, it's not like, you know, I'm a big, you know, this One Direction fan person, and I'm not, you know, like, there's going to be so many of these people, like, girls, grew up on their music, there'll be people that'll be like, you know, in floods of tears and just really, really, really upset for Liam. But it's still, you know, it's still just a, a, a guy, like it was like a, a, a guy, a, a young guy had a had a daughter. It was a, a daughter, a son, it was Bear. I know, I, I start, it, yeah, son with, with Cheryl Cole. Um, and yeah, you know, he leaves them behind. It's, uh, yeah really 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 uh, sad um you know a little bit about you know because i watched I, as i said i watched the uh, interview that he did with uh, stephen bartlett and he seemed like quite a really open guy like an open book wore his heart in his sleeve which i can appreciate i'm kind of like that as well and yes yeah, so when it was the stuff getting into about you know his issues and the problems there and with um you know being an alcoholic he was going to alcoholics anonymous and, um, you know, he was kind of telling a story, though, that, you know, Russell Brand was big with trying to, you know, get people to fight addiction. And he's, you know, battled his, I suppose, his, you know, demons and addictions. There's some of our questionable stuff there about Russell Brand, but let's just take it alone that, you know, he's trying to fight and stop ever from, you know, being an alcoholic again, you know. And then he was telling the stories about, like, at alcohol AA meetings that, you know, you know, a big way of like you know helping people in a, in a weird way was like russell brand's like you know doing like stand-up comedy <laughs> and then get, getting people in, in, in stitches but yeah there was just something there about um you know it's like i remember him saying it's like to like stephen bartlett it's like you, like you would have no clue what my rock bottom is what it what 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 it you'd have no idea and that really that 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 I always remembered that because it was kind of like thinking like people would perceive like this guy would have it had it all right had the money uh the fame all that the success the adulation and this guy though you know there was obviously there was some there was something something going you know was, you know we all have our demons yes and, and some maybe worse than others you know um I've, I've struggled with my mental health i'll be very open um, I had a real bad spell probably about seven, eight years ago, but, you know, I've never got into like, never been an alcoholic, you know, I could have a drink here and there, but not that thing where, you know, you get up early in the morning and instead of having your, you know, your proper breakfast, you know, you want to have a, you know, have a beer, a vodka, wine, whatever it may be. And, um, yeah, so that, that is that, you know, you know, the guy had demons, and it's yeah, it's just it's it's a it's a real sad. It's um there was there was things about him I didn't know a lot about him, but I must say from like the five guys in One Direction, he'd probably be like the one guy I'd actually think you know what you could actually have like an alright conversation with him, like the other guys it would either be like a case of like you wouldn't be able to like get through to them, at like a like a just a like a like a just a standard intellectual level or they would just 
come off a bit obnoxious, but he actually seemed like an all right guy. It was like, you should go back and see that interview that he did with uh, Bartlett. It was a pretty, they had a pretty good conversation. It was pretty good. And um, yeah, I, def- I mean, you know what? I, I picked up a couple of things from it, to be fair. You know, I, I remember, you know, I, I remember this. I always remember, you know, there was something that he said about, you know, like, you know, like if you're having a problem with somebody and you know, there's maybe like, there's a bit, it gets a bit heated and maybe there's a bit of a back and forth there, like arguing with somebody. Maybe let's say it's like, it's not even in person, it's like by text, right? And then he was saying this thing about how, and I, I remember telling a friend, a friend of mine about this, you know, it, he was saying how, you know, like there's a certain message, like a certain like real, like you're real pissed off at someone and angry and you just want to vent and let it out. You should type it all out, what you want to really say, right? And But just before you, you press that send button, poof, delete it. Just read through it, but don't press that send button. Because that can kind of come back to bite you when you like you choose to do that, press that send button. Sometimes if you're mad, angry at somebody, but in the end, just being angry, you just lose. You won't win. Nobody wins, right? And that's something, God, if I had applied that to my life, like, God, years years ago, <laughs> I believe I'd probably, I'd probably be in a better place, you know? And um, we make that mistake sometimes. I think we don't always listen to our own advice, right? But, yeah, that's something I could have done at least a good few times over the years. But, um, but yeah, there was, there was a few things that I definitely picked up. And, and, and you know, again, wasn't following this guy's career, but, you know, I can remember when he had his first hit, um, it was kind of a catchy hit to be fair kind of like he was like trying to get into like the hip-hop side of things and um, yeah so Ed Sheeran wrote it he had that guy Quavo who's in the Migos so he was like he's like he, he did well I mean I think he was a bit more I don't know if he was the most popular of the 1D guys to go solo but you know he was uh, he, he came off the blocks pretty quickly you know so to speak but yeah it's, so it's, it's real sad and I suppose you know you gotta you know condolences thoughts prayers have to go to the friends the family and i suppose the fans as well i mean this is a big thing when you think about it this is quite a big thing when you talk about like when you think of like how big they were worldwide one direction um you know like i mean this would be i mean it's one thing this happening now i mean but christ he's only 31 years old but imagine this is like at the peak of one direction i mean you know, this would be like, this is the stuff that like, like when like boy bands split up, like when Take That split up and girls are crying in the street and there was like su- su- suicide hotline set up. I mean, imagine this will be set up for Liam Payne, but this is going to be like, imagine if it happened at their peak, this happened, the tragedy like this, would have even been a much, you know, much bigger scale. Um, so, you know, it really is bad. He leaves a son behind, you know, I know he, he wasn't with, uh, it wasn't with Shadow Cole, but you know, you know, there is some stuff there because the, I, I did hear, you know, well, I read it a couple of days ago. There was this whole thing about his former fiance, uh, Mia Henry, accuses singer of obsessively contacting, weaponizing fans. So this whole thing about what happened, it doesn't, you know, and from what they're saying about that he was, you know, aggressive guy and alcohol and drugs, you know, it doesn't look like this is something that's just like an accident. Um, I again. I don't know. It's it's a it's just with all this stuff, and then there's the timing there of what what coming out with his his fiance, his former fiance. It's like yeah, so maybe there's going to be some more stuff that come out about this. Um, like yeah, you know, like we have our, we're all in we're all imperfect, right? We're all imperfect people. We've got our imperfections that kind of like. Well, they make us who they are, right? And, um, you know, so let's say that he was like, things fell apart. He was still really very much what to be with her, in love with her. He was chasing her. There was a lot of, like, messaging, trying to get through to her and people around her. Like, yeah, that can be a little bit, that gets a bit tense and it's not nice. But, you know, if you felt, if you really felt that way about the woman you wanted to be with her, like, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a tough one, that, man. You know, it's a tough one, but... It's like, yeah, I mean, this stuff coming out about him and then this happening um, because the stuff with his fiance, uh, 7th of October, this is about only so about nine days later. So the timing of it is a little, you know, it's a little bit suspect. But 
you know, I get into a lot of this stuff with the, the downside of the music industry and how there's there's a lot of dark forces there. Um, but with this, you know, I don't want to get into all that stuff right for now. I don't want to get into conspiracy theories. Ultimately, like a young guy, it's 31, uh, has, has, has passed away. But I, I just want to kind of like in my own way pay tribute it's not it's not the it's like the way that you know people that f grew up on them watching one direction pay tribute but he seemed to be like an okay guy like he was a christian guy you know i'm a believer and you know he seemed to have like he came from a pretty good family as well like he said he was very close with his parents both his parents were together so that you know he, he seemed like he had a pretty good foundation a good upbringing you know family guide family values uh, tried to, from what you hear, would was still you know, kind of like I suppose like a like a Christian, maybe a lapsed one, but still, he seemed like he, he he was not too bad to be fair. That's what I'm going by from what I've seen. Um, and you know what, when when it's like people can mock and joke and take the piss because he was in one direction or whatever, but like listening to the guy just in that conversation, Daddy CEO seemed like a decent lad picked up a couple of things from him of just just like just one or two things about just like solid life advice you know what i mean an open guy which i don't know i i don't know i'm always i can't really trust people that like always like they don't open up and they feel it's like they feel like they're hiding things and they don't want to tell you a lot about, about their, their their experiences in life but he seemed to be different though he's he was quite an open guy you know i'm sure he wasn't perfect and maybe some stuff will come out later about this stuff with the, the fiance and all that but i'm just gonna say like hey you know i appreciated what i saw and it's real sad what happened uh so you know rest in peace lean pain and thoughts and prayers go out to uh friends family and the uh, fans of uh lean pain um but as i say this is just an impromptu video i wanted to do just to uh, you know pay my respects um feel free to leave a comment uh, leave your respects as well but um yes yeah, so just very sad news uh the, you know this breaking news now but i'm sure we'll, there'll be more and more stuff to come but for now just wanted to uh pay my respects and do this video but thank you guys thanks bye